Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a Mac OS 13 Ventura VM in ESXi. To begin, let's download ESXi and Locker from GitHub, and also WinSCP Portable so we can copy files to our ESXi host. Navigate to your downloads directory. Right click on the downloaded Unlocker archive and extract it with 7-zip. This will reveal a .tar file, so right click on the .tar file and extract it with 7-zip. Next, extract the downloaded WinSCP zip file. Now we need to make sure remote SSH is enabled on the ESXi host. So open a web browser and navigate to the ESXi web UI and log in. On the main screen, click the Actions drop-down, then scroll down to Services and make sure Secure Shell is enabled. Now we can navigate back to our Downloads directory and into the extracted WinSCP folder. Double-click WinSCP.exe to launch the application. Create a new session by entering the ESXi hostname and the username root. Click Yes to accept the host key, then enter the ESXi root password. In the left pane of WinSCP, navigate to the Downloads directory. Right-click the Extracted Unlocker folder and select Copy, then right-click in the right pane and select Paste to copy the folder to the ESXi host. Rename the copied folder Unlocker on the ESXi host. We now have Unlocker on the ESXi host, and we need to execute the script. Launch a PowerShell or Command Prompt and SSH into the ESXi host. Use the cd command to change directory to the unlocker folder. Then use chmod plus x to make the install script executable. And finally, execute the unlocker install script. After the script installs successfully, reboot the ESXi host. Now that we have unlocker installed and the host has been rebooted, navigate back to the web UI and log back in. Right-click on Virtual Machines in the left navigation and select Create VM. Click Next to create a new VM. Give the VM a name and set the OS family to Mac OS and the version to Mac OS 12. Select which storage to use for the VM, then click Next. Set the number of CPU cores to at least 2, the memory to at least 4 gigs, and the hard disk to at least 40 gigabytes. Scroll down and expand the network adapter options and set the adapter type to VMXNet3. Then expand the CD DVD drive. Select Data Store ISO file from the drop down, then browse to and select the macOS Ventura ISO. Click Next and then Finish to complete the VM creation. Click Virtual Machines in the left navigation, then select the new macOS 13 VM we just created. Click on the virtual screen to power on the VM. Select your language and click the arrow at the bottom right of the menu. Double click on Disk Utility. Select the VMware Virtual SATA hard drive, then click on Erase. Name the device Mac OS and click Erase. After the device has been initialized, click Done and close the Disk Utility. Now double click the Install Mac OS option. Click Continue, then click Agree and Agree again. Finally, select the Mac OS disk and click Continue. At this point, it's just a waiting game. As macOS is installed, the VM will reboot several times. After several progress bars and VM reboots, you'll reach the macOS sysprep, asking you to select your region. Select your country or region and click Continue. Verify the language settings. If you need to make changes, click Customize Settings. Otherwise, click Continue. Click Not Now at the Accessibility screen, then Continue on the Data and Privacy screen. Click Not Now on the Migration Assistant, and then Set Up Later on the Apple ID screen. Click Skip to confirm. Click Agree to the Terms and Conditions, and then Agree again. 
the Create Account page, enter their full name, username, and password, and click Continue. Click Continue on the Enable Location Services page, then click Don't Use to confirm. Click your location on the map to select your time zone, then click Continue. Choose if you'd like to share macOS analytics, then click Continue. Then click Set Up Later for screen time. Select if you'd like to use the light or dark theme and click Continue. Once the desktop fully appears, right click on the installation media and select Eject. Next, we're going to download the VMware Unlocker utility that will enable us to download the VMware Tools Installer for macOS. After downloading Unlocker, navigate to the Downloads directory and extract the downloaded zip file. Double click the extracted unlocker.exe to launch the application. Then click the download button to download the VMware Tools installer ISO. Once the download completes, we can close out of Unlocker. Inside the Tools subfolder, Darwin.iso is the VMware Tools installer. Back in the ESXi web UI, select the storage that we're going to upload the VMware Tools installer to. Select Data Store Browser, and then Upload. Browse to and select Darwin.iso that we just downloaded. With Darwin.iso uploaded, we can close out of the Data Store browser and navigate back to the macOS 13 VM. Click the Edit button. Scroll down and expand the CD DVD drive options, then browse to and select Darwin.iso from the Data Store. Make sure to check the Connect box, then click Save. Now click back into the macOS 13 virtual display. Double click Install VMware Tools. Click through the installer until you get a security prompt. Enter the user's password to confirm the installation. Click OK to continue. Then click Open Security Preferences. The installation in the background should fail. Select Privacy and Security from the left navigation then scroll to the bottom of the options to find VMware Inc. and click Allow. Enter the user's password again to confirm. Then click Restart for the changes to take effect. After the VM reboots, log back in. Double click on Install VMware Tools again. Click through the installer, authenticating when prompted. Click OK to continue. Once the installation completes successfully, click Restart. After this final reboot, log back into the VM. Close out of any open applications from our previous session, and right-click and eject the VMware Tools installer. Welcome to macOS 13 Ventura, running as a VM inside ESXi.